Okay, so the last objective <clears throat> and exercise um, will actually ask you to create a plan for utilizing the, the diffusion strategies in the moment. And so um, it's, it's great to know about diffusion strategies. It is great to, to you know, take time to practice them. Um, but if you don't have a plan for how and when you're going to use them in the moment, as things come up in real time, in context, it's going to be, you know, you're going to be less likely to use them. That's just the nature. It's just the nature of how we are. Um, and so the, the exercise itself will ask you to describe, um, describe your uh, diffusion or the diffusions to how you're planning to use the diffusion strategies to overcome the barriers that you face in your day-to-day -day life. And um, so I described a little bit of this, but um, my, my suggestion would be to start with the morning growth routine and the baseline blessing. So that's why I incorporated that into the homework section. Um, but you're welcome, you know, you're welcome to use whatever strategies that you like. I just like those ones because it's about, you know, start making that small change at the beginning of your day. We're going to make a small habit change. And, um, you know, for me personally, that small habit change had a plethora of collateral effects that I, that I attribute to the implementation of that daily strategy. And I've actually seen for myself, number one, I wake up really motivated to do that, which tells me that there's, you know, it's making a difference in my brain. It's reinforcing in some, on some level. Otherwise I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't have that urge or that drive or that extra motivation to do that thing. Um, you know, I, I don't dread waking up in the morning. Um, and it also establishes that behavioral momentum or that um, the behavioral momentum or priming for the day to you know, keep that positive cycle of thoughts and um, actions going throughout the day. The key though with anything is to keep it simple. So we're, you know, I'm not asking you to do, and this work doesn't ask you to do, um, you know, to change everything all at once and, you know, wave a magic wand and everything will be hunky-dory and beautiful ponies and rainbows. Um, although, you know, that'd be lovely, but that's the, that the reality is that that will never happen. Um, so creating realistic expectations for yourself, you, you know, now you're, you know, you're going to work on becoming more aware. You're going to work on making small changes do those for, you know, stick to those small changes for a little, for a while, for a few weeks or a couple months and, and just begin to notice the impact that it's having on your day-to-day -day life and your ability to utilize these things in the moment. And, you know, I always, I always think about when I, about personal change, you know, it's easy to be, it's so much easier to be hard on yourself than it is to be hard on other people, but we, um, because we know what we know about behavior chains, it's easy to get into this, you know, into this pattern of like, well, I know better. I know this stuff. I should be able to. Well, you, you are still, just because you know something doesn't mean that you're no longer human. We're all still human and we all can only change at a, you know, at, at a given rate, depending on our previous history of learning. <clears throat> um, and so be kind to yourself. Don't expect yourself to change overnight. Don't expect to see immediate, immediate results. That's, you know, that is setting, you're going to be setting up yourself for failure. Um, but start small, make a small change, stick to it. Um, and then uh, as, as it becomes easier, as it becomes more naturally ingrained into your day to day and you don't have to, um, you don't have to think about doing it or you're more, mo or you're motivated to do it. Um, if you don't have to push yourself to do it you can begin to add other things into your life. Um, <clears throat> okay, so where are we at on time? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so for the homework for this week, 
um, which again is optional. You don't have to complete the homework. The other component, the components which are required for the certificates um, are the check-in, the, the exercises associated with each of the objectives, and then the checkout exercise, the uh, personal reflection, which is just a quick survey um, to gather feedback from you about the course, in, the course and the lessons. <clears throat> the homework is optional, but I've put, that, put this in there to um, help create a more immersive environment, um, an immersive experience for um, all of you who are participating. Again, my goal is to help Helen, you help you and everyone else who joins our community develop a set of skills which will help you be more effective, be more efficient in your own life, create more peace in your life. Um, which then, once you have a you know a stronger sense of peace and well-being in your own life, you're going to be more effective at fostering that within your family. And then, the more effective that you are at fostering that you know that sense of peace within your family the more easily you are going to be able to um, act accordance with your values and create peace more generally and more globally in your in the wider world in your in your community. Um, so the homework for this week is to read the um, lessons or read the chapters from associated with lesson three, which are uh, chapter 10 in flip the script or sorry chapter 10 in a liberated mind chapters three and four and flip the script, and then chapters five and six out of get out of your mind and into your life. Um, the second piece of homework is to continue the daily um, no technology time routine, um, and, and which includes the um, daily writing of your blessing. So you would um, commit to waking up 15 to 30 minutes earlier than usual, reading for a short time from a book or article, article that you find interesting, inspirational, or empowering, um, and then take a few minutes to write down your three blessings from the day, and then think about that one challenge in your life and what the gift is for, um, to you, or what, how you, what gift you can find in that challenge. The third piece, or the third, um, Sorry, the third exercise for homework, optional exercise for homework, is to do a, a value vision storm, which just is a, so this will require you to think about your top three values, those, you know, the guiding values in your life, and then to spend um, about five minutes each, bring, and you can, you know, there's not a spot to write this into the, in the dashboard. It's simply a writing exercise for you to do in your journal, which is to, you write down your three values and then spend about five minutes per value brainstorming out outcomes um, related to the values um, and more kind of you know long-term things that you want in your life you want your life to look like those major outcomes and um, really start as you're writing them down start to consider whether or not they meet a criteria of really bringing an energy to your life and motivation and being something that you really want to fight for and outcomes that are going to lead to sustained happiness. And this is a really good, if you have the um, flip the script book, the description of it, of this exercise is on page 65. Um, and then the last thing that I will recommend, um, if you have not done so already, is to um, consider joining the Association for Contextual Behavioral Science. Um, the uh, membership fees, it's on a value, it's a value-based scale. So you, you make a contribution of what is, um, you know, it, in regard to how much you value what the organization is doing and the benefit that they can provide to you as a person and a provider. Um, and what I found is that they, their listservs are amazing. There's a bunch, there's a quite a few different special interest groups on, um, associated with this, with the organization. And they have individual listservs in which you can post your questions and you can talk to people, other people who are really invested in acceptance and commitment therapy and um, it's more general and broad application to real world issues um, and so that would be a recommendation of something to do if not now sometime in the future 
Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and stop sharing. We have about nine minutes left of our time together. Um, so I will just, uh, I will open up the floor for any um, last comments or questions um, related to what we talked about today or the course more generally. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, all right. Well, it doesn't sound like there are any questions or any last minute burning thoughts. I will put a final plug in for the forum. And so let me just pull that up really quickly if you have not been um, been on there yet to check it out, to check out the forum itself. Um, where am I at? Okay. Um, so this is the, this is the main screen where the activity or with the, where the courses are. And to get into the forums at the very top, there is a, um, it says all forums to select. And within here, so there are uh, four categories right now. The first one is Afafwa community introductions. The second is community-based observations. The third is PSOP goal progress, which PSOP stands for Personal Strategic Action Plan, which is going to be kind of our culminating project um, and uh, for this course. Um, and then the last one is what brings joy to your life. And so I put together these forums in order to um, cr create a place where we can share and we can collaborate and we can get to know each other better um, in regard to kind of who we are, why we're here, what we're doing in our own lives, what we want to do. Um, and so community introductions is a place where you can tell us uh, all about yourself Community-based observations is a place where you can, um, like, as you're, you know, going out into the world and starting to think about and apply these skills on a regular basis, starting to, you know, even outside of your work, you know, are, I think about things that you're observing in your environment that you, that you think could be positively impact, impacted by, um, uh, psychological flexibility or areas in the world where you think that psychological flexibility is an issue. Um, your piece of goal progress. So as you are you know, mapping out your goals and identifying what you want to work on and the diffusion strategies, this is a place where you can just share your own personal experiences about what's working, what's not working, what questions you have. Um, and the last one is just a fun one about, you know, you can share all those things that bring joy in your life and, you know, we can share um, funny memes or stories or anything of that nature. Um, because, you know, as, as you're sharing things that bring joy to your life, um, you can, uh, that commonly, uh, brings joy to other people's lives as well. So, okay. Well, I will let you all go. Thank you so much for joining the live lesson today. And if you have any questions throughout the week, uh, you can send me messages either um, uh, through the dashboard. There's a messages section. I've, I've already interacted with a few of you 
um, through that um, through the messaging system. And so you can send a message through there or send an email to me directly at contact at .com. Thank you all for joining and I will see you next week.